Kenya gained internal self-rule from the British colonial rule on June 1, 1963 when the country was allowed to form its first internal self-government with Mzioma Kenyatta as the first president. On December 12, 1963, Kenya attained full independence when Britain's Union Jack was replaced by the Kenyan black, red and green flag. Exactly one year later, Kenya became a republic on December 12, 1964. It is in this regard that Kenyans turn out in large numbers every 1st of June and 12th of December to celebrate Madaraka Day and Jamhuri Day respectively in commemoration of the hard-won freedom that came with such fresh air of a free people in control of their own destiny. The Republic of Kenya is a unitary state divided into 47 counties. The country is run by the national government and 47 county governments. The two levels of government work in close consultation as espoused in Article 6 subsection 2 of the Constitution of Kenya which states that the governments at the national and county levels are distinct and interdependent and shall conduct their mutual relations on the basis of consultation and cooperation. Further, and for smooth running and coordination between the governments, the Constitution in the fourth schedule clearly outlines national and county government functions. Kenya's political governance has evolved over time with a mix of one-party and multi-party system. By and large, Kenya has essentially been a multi-party democracy since independence. Kenya had elements of a multi-party state until 1969, when the government first banned active multi-party politics making Kenya a de facto one-party state. In 1982, Section 2 was introduced in the constitution to make Kenya a de jure one-party system. This lasted until 1992 when Section 2 was repealed to allow for multi-party politics. Since then, the country is run on a multi-party political system whose hallmark is parliamentary democracy. The Parliament of Kenya is a bicameral house consisting of the National Assembly and the Senate. The National Assembly has a total of 349 members plus the Speaker who is an ex officio member. Article 95 of the Constitution establishes that the National Assembly shall consist of the following 290, 290, members, each elected by the registered voters of single-member constituencies, 47, 47, women, each elected by the registered voters of the counties, each county constituting a single-member constituency, 12, 12 members nominated by parliamentary political parties according to their proportion of members of the National Assembly in accordance with Article 90, to represent special interests including the youth, persons with disabilities and workers, and the Speaker, who is an ex officio member. The Senate consists of 67 members plus the Speaker, who is an ex officio member. Article 98 of the Constitution establishes that the Senate shall consist of the following 47, 47, members each elected by the registered voters of the counties, each county constituting a single member constituency, 16, 16, women members who shall be nominated by political parties according to their proportion of members of the Senate elected under Clause, A, in accordance with Article 90, two members, two, being one man and one woman, representing the youth, 2, 2, members. Being one man and one woman, representing persons with disabilities, and the speaker, who shall be an ex officio member. The members of the National Assembly are referred to as members of Parliament, MP, while the members of the Senate are referred to as Senators. Both MPs and Senators serve a five-year term. The President of the Republic of Kenya, together with the Deputy President and the Cabinet Secretaries comprise the Executive. The President shall nominate and, with the approval of the National Assembly, appoint Cabinet Secretaries. A Cabinet Secretary shall not be a member of Parliament. The President is elected directly for a five-year term. In order to win, a candidate must garner 50% plus 1 votes and 25% in half of 47 counties. Parliamentary politics in Kenya is open, free, fair, and highly competitive field. Kenya has indeed held all its general elections, presidential, parliamentary, and local authorities every five years as required by the constitution, without fail since the country attained independence in 1963. 
the first election in Kenya was held in May 1963 in which Kenya African National Union, KANU, won the majority and picked Mziyomo Kenyatta as its leader, subsequently becoming Kenya's first president. Mziyomo Kenyatta served as Kenya's founding father and first president of Kenya until October 1978 when Daniel Arap Moy took over as the second president after Mziyomo Kenyatta passed on. President Daniel Arap Moy handed over power in December 2002 to President Mwai Kibaki who was elected as the third president. On March 4, 2013, Kenya held its first general election, under the new constitution promulgated in August, 2010 and Honorable Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta was elected as the fourth president of the Republic of Kenya with Honorable William Samoe Ruto as his deputy. Both President Uhuru Mugai Kenyatta and Deputy President, William Samoe Ruto were re-elected for the second time under the new constitution on October 26, 2017 and the two will remain in office until the next general election expected to be held in August 2022. The politics of Kenya take place in a framework of a presidential representative democratic republic, whereby the president is both head of state and head of government, and of a multi-party system in accordance with a new constitution passed in 2010. Executive power is exercised by the executive branch of government, headed by the president, who chairs the cabinet, which is composed of people chosen from outside parliament. Legislative power is vested exclusively in parliament. The judiciary is independent of the executive and the legislature. In Kenyan politics, the executive wields considerable power and other institutions have limited means of checking that power. The Economist Intelligence Unit rated Kenya a hybrid regime in 2022. The political terror scale gave the country a rating of 4 meaning that civil and political rights violations had expanded to large numbers of the population. Murders, disappearances, and torture were common parts of life. The president is elected for a five-year term by the people. As of the 2013 March general election, the constitution of Kenya has two requirements for any candidate to be declared winner. To win at least 25% of the vote in a majority of Kenya's 47 counties. To garner 50% plus one vote of the total valid votes. If none of the candidates fulfills these requirements there is to be a runoff between the two contenders with the highest number of votes. The deputy president is the running mate of the candidate that wins the presidential election whilst other cabinet members will be appointed, with the approval from the National Assembly, from outside parliament. Between 2008 and 2013 Kenya was governed by a grand coalition, established by a power-sharing agreement, signed by then-President Mwai Baki and Prime Minister Raila Odinga of the Orange Democratic Movement. That government was semi-presidential in form, with the executive headed by a president and a prime minister, and ministers were appointed to reflect political parties' relative strength in Kenya's 10th parliament in which Raila Odinga's party, the Orange Democratic Movement was the largest party. Under the power-sharing agreement, each of the two major parties also nominated a deputy prime minister. The post of the prime minister was abolished after 2013, returning Kenya to a presidential system of government. The bicameral parliament consists of a national assembly and senate. The national assembly, or Bunki, has 349 members, 290 members elected for a five-year term in single-seat constituencies, 47 women elected from each county, 12 members nominated by political parties in proportion to their share of seats won in the single-member constituencies, and an ex-officio member, the Speaker. There is also a Senate with 67 members. 47 elected from counties acting as single-member constituencies, 16 women nominated by political parties, a man and a woman representing youths and a man and woman representing people with disabilities. The speaker is an ex-officio member. The Kenyan judiciary is divided into superior courts and subordinate courts. Superior courts consist of the chief justice who is also the president of the Supreme Court, the deputy chief justice, who are members of the Supreme Court, Supreme Court judges, high court judges, and judges of the Court of Appeal, no associate judges, appointed by an independent judicial service commission. 
the Chief Justice and his or her deputy are nominated by the President from names selected by the Judicial Service Commission and voted by the National Assembly. Subordinates courts are magistrates courts, county courts, and courts martial. The current Chief Justice is Martha Cum. Then the tribunal are bodies which are established by Acts of Parliament to exercise judicial or quasi-judicial functions and these supplement ordinary courts in the administration of justice but do not have penal jurisdiction. Under the 2010 Constitution, Kenya is divided into 47 counties, including the cities of Nairobi and Mombasa, each comprising a whole number of parliamentary constituencies. Each county has an elected assembly, whose members are elected from single-member wards. There are provisions for additional assembly members to be appointed to improve the gender balance and to represent special groups such as persons with disabilities and youth. Each county is administered by an elected county governor and deputy governor, backed by an executive committee. Since independence in 1963, Kenya has maintained remarkable stability, despite changes in its political system and crises in neighboring countries. Particularly since the re-emergence of multi-party democracy, Kenyans have enjoyed an increased degree of freedom. A cross-party parliamentary reform initiative in the fall of 1997 revised some oppressive laws inherited from the colonial era that had been used to limit freedom of speech and assembly. This improved public freedoms and contributed to generally credible national elections in December 1997. In December 2002, Kenya held democratic and open elections and elected Mwaiki Baki as their new president. The elections, which were judged free and fair by local and international observers, marked an important turning point in Kenya's democratic evolution. President Kibaki campaigned on a policy of generating economic growth, improving education, combating corruption, and implementing a new constitution, the draft of which was produced by Professor Guy under the Moy regime. Considerable success has been achieved in the first two policy areas, the constitutional process had become mired, see below, and the fight against corruption has been a disaster. There have been major scandals, including Anglo-leasing, which the government has failed to investigate. John Gethongo, then permanent secretary to the President on Ethics and Governance, resigned in protest, and donor nations, in particular the British, have made public criticisms of the lack of progress. Following disagreements between the partners in the then-government coalition, constitutional reform proceeded slower than anticipated. The NAK faction, allied to President Kibaki, favored a centralized presidential system, while the LDP faction which had fewer parliamentary seats in that coalition than NAK demanded a federal, parliamentary system, referred to in some circles as Majimbo. Prior to the 2002 election, a Memorandum of Understanding, MAO, was agreed between NAK and LDP, which laid the basis for the two groups to contest the election under the NARC, Rainbow Alliance, banner. The Mao agreed that a new constitution would be established shortly after the election, which provided for the new role of a strong prime minister while weakening the role of the president. Rayla Odinga, then leader of LDP, maintained aspirations to become prime minister. However, that draft constitution was modified by the government from what was written by Professor Guy and amended by the BOMAS committee. This maintained a strong president, who controls a weaker prime minister. This led to a split between NAK and LDP, with the former campaigning for a yes vote in a 2005 referendum on the constitution and the latter a no. Also supporting a no vote was the majority of Uhuru Kenyatta's Kanu party, the sole party of government from independence to 2002. The outcome of that referendum, in which the draft constitution was rejected, signaled a wider realignment before the 2007 elections, in which the No Team reorganized itself as the Orange Democratic Movement with Rayla Odinga as their presidential flag bearer whilst those in the Yes Team ended up in several political parties including the Party of National Unity. Internal wrangling within that governing coalition also negatively affected other crucial areas of governance, notably the planned large-scale privatization of government-owned enterprises. 
The 2007 presidential elections were largely believed to have been flawed with international observers stating that they did not meet regional or international standards. Most observers suggest that the tallying process for the presidential results was rigged to the advantage of the incumbent president, Mwiki Baki, despite overwhelming indications that his rival and the subsequent Prime Minister of Kenya, Raila Odinga, won the election. In July 2008, exit polls commissioned by the U.S. government were released, revealing that Odinga had won the election by a comfortable margin of 6%, well outside of the poll's 1.3% margin of error. There was significant and widespread violence in Kenya 2007-2008 Kenyan crisis following the unprecedented announcement of Kibaki as the winner of the 2007 presidential elections. The violence led to the death of almost 1,000 people and the displacement of almost 600,000 people. Some researchers note it allowed the violent settlement of land disputes between ethnic groups over controversial concepts of ancestral homelands. A diplomatic solution was achieved, as the two rivals were later united in a grand coalition government following international mediation, led by former UN Secretary General Kofi Annan, under a power-sharing National Accord on Reconciliation Act, entrenched in the Constitution. Following the agreement, power was shared between President Mwaiki Baki and Prime Minister, Raila Odinga. Several steps were recommended to ensure stability and peace for the nation during the negotiations that led to the formation of the coalition government. One of these reforms was the famous Agenda 4 which deals with reforms in various sectors. A new constitution was identified as a key area in fulfilling Agenda 4. A draft constitution was published and Kenyans adopted it in a vote on August 4, 2010. In 2013 the coalition government was rendered ineffective due to the constitution. General elections were held and the Jubilee coalition with President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy President William Samoe Ruto clinched victory. The new constitution also provided for a bicameral house, the Senate, and the National Assembly. These were duly filled up with elected candidates. The nation was also divided into counties headed by governors and represented in the Senate by senators. Women in these counties were also represented by electing women representatives. The five-year term ended on 2017 and the country went in for the elections. The President Uhuru Kenyatta and Deputy William Samoe Ruto were re-elected on October 30, 2017. This will run up to 2022 when the next elections will be conducted. The historical handshake in March 2018 between President Uhuru Kenyatta and his longtime opponent Raila Odinga meant reconciliation followed by economic growth and increased stability. William Ruto was declared the winner of the 2022 Kenyan general election on September 13, 2022. William Ruto was sworn in as Kenya's fifth president. Thank you for watching this video.